Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on African Confessions. Uh, funny enough, I once spoke with this other young woman who came with her story and she said that she was only, I think, somewhere around 17 years. I spoke with her last year. She called me on my WhatsApp and then she said that she had a confession that she wanted to to give me but at the end of the day she then pulled out and she said that no please do not post my story but her story in brief without telling you a lot of stuff that might expose her she was saying that she had been booked by this other very rich guys and this guy is a blesser and this guy got a locked up in a hotel for more than three months and the moment that she was released from this hotel it was after she had been given an sti and when i wanted to record that confession she said that she felt so scared because this guy is a well connected very rich guy so I received another message that came from a very young woman as well. Strange things do happen in this world. This is what poverty will make you to do. The message reads like this. Hello, brother Nashi, how are you? Can you please post my own story? A hidden identity, my brother, I am a young woman who is only aged 21 years old and I am doing my second year at the University of Zim but i come from lawayo and me and my parents we stay at this other area that is called montreux mansions but then actually after i had passed my a level i applied for a place and i could not find anywhere i wanted somewhere that was close to my parents in close to lawayo but i ended up coming to the capital city of our country at you at uz the problem that I have faced all my life started when I was grade seven because of the way that my body is shaped. Most of my own male teachers, they kept on hitting on me even though I will refuse. Even when I am walking around alone, sometimes I really feel so scared because men, they always make me to become sort of like a sexual object because of my body shape. The more that I matured, the more that I became more beautiful and the more that the curves and the back area grew. So when I was coming to use it, deep in my heart, I was really scared and nervous, knowing that I was always going to be far away from home. And it was miles away from home and there was nothing that was that I could actually do. So when I found a space, I was staying at the campus. And when I was staying at that campus, this was like my first time ever being in the capital city of Harare. It was very hard for me as a Ndebele speaking woman and everyone in the town was communicating in Ishona, but I was communicating with them in English. So then this roommate of mine, she was doing a final year. She then started telling me that she wanted me to go with her to the place where she stays because her father is in the air force so she was staying at Miami and she was staying on campus but on weekends she will invite me and we will go to her place she wanted me to date one of her brothers but the problem was that the brother is a married guy this man he was so crazy about me so much that one day when he came to visit us he told me that he wanted me to accompany him somewhere else we then went to Avondale while we were there at the shopping center he then told me that he wanted to be with me he wanted to make me his second wife because of my good body shape and he said that his wife was not so much good looking and i refused and when i refused he started to cry and i am used to all of these things and this man he ended up sort of like being violent with me saying why was i refusing him was there anything that was wrong with him then i got into the car and he told me that i was going to walk back and indeed i walked back to the rest at the campus where i am staying then my friend the one that i was sharing the same room with she then told me that since i was in Harare, 
Then my friend that I was staying with, she said since I was already in Harare, she wanted to show me around. We then went into the city, into the CBD. Then we went to this place called Joina Center to see what was exactly going on. And this was like my first time. I had always seen this place on the news. And one day when we didn't have any lecture, we then went back into the city. I still remember that it was on a Wednesday. I got out and I was wearing something that was not tight, so not as to show my curves. Whilst we were going around shopping, me and my friend, we were always getting a lot of attention. As per my friend, she is someone that is beautiful. She is very light skinned and you can tell that she is a slay queen from the looks and from the way that she dresses herself. We then went close to that foot bridge near Joina Center. Whilst we were walking there, there is a chicken inn that is right there. My friend then said, let us go in there so that we can have lunch. And it seemed as if my friend, she knew the whole place and there were some girls that were hanging around there. And it was quite confusing because there were a lot of sleigh queens that were just hanging there, not doing anything. And I mean like beautiful. If I thought that I had the most beautiful curves where I grew up, I was shocked, Brother Nashi, because the ladies that were there, they take this pills that makes their hips to go really big and they were really beautiful when when we were inside that chicken inn as we were eating that was when this other guy came and they spoke for a very long time and they, she said that this was like her ex-boyfriend and when we got out i saw that there were a lot of boys that were hanging around we then went to this other mall that is called zimix mall and he told me that he wanted to introduce me to this other young guy or let me say a blesser who has a lot of money we then went and we met that guy this guy brother nashi he was not young and i found out that the guy he was quite old it is just that he wears a lot of it is just that he was hanging around very young boys and he was wearing as if he was just a young boy and then i was introduced to this old sugar daddy and he say and she said to this old sugar daddy this is my friend that i was telling you about and from there on brother nashi that sugar daddy said that he wanted to take us out the following weekend and i agreed and you know when you have met a man that has a lot of money sometimes it is quite hard to resist when i was still back home i used to go around with some boys just going out and it has been it had been a very long time before i had been taken out by a man we were then taken out brother nashi on that day i chose the dresses that i knew that were going to be very tight i had dressed to kill me and my friend we then went out and we then went to this other hotel this hotel it is in samora michelle if i am not mistaken since i didn't know Arari at that time this old blesser came and when he came he had his friend as well these guys they were driving very beautiful cars that i had only seen in the movies you could not even believe that these guys they were zimbabweans and those cars they were really low brother nashi with all the potholes and stuff like that for you to have a car as low as a car that these guys were driving you will be loaded Brother Nashi, those guys, they then picked us up and they did not park their cars close to that hotel. They first took us to this other building where they left their cars, where there is a lot of security. From there on, we were picked up by one of their chauffeurs and we were then returned back to this hotel. We really had a very nice lunch and these blessers they were just pulling out money and they were talking about big business deals so it seems as if they sell their gold to dubai they have some companies there in dubai so they are in the business of gold buying and selling we were then taken back to zimex mall and that old guy 
he told me that he had some businesses that he wanted to handle so me and my friend and the other blesser we then returned back to the hotel my friend he then entered into another room with his blesser and i was showed my own room and i was supposed to wait for that blesser as for sex i had had sex before so i was not scared just that i didn't like having sexual intercourse with old men but with the money that my friend had been promised whilst we were returning back to the hotel this made me to be very interested because a blesser told you that he, he had something like 1.8 thousand us dollars and he was going to give her some of it so i wanted to be part of this life i was then whilst i was wake while i then waited for my own blesser in my own room then that guy came brother nashi when this guy came to my surprise he was holding a very small bag and immediately i knew that for you to have that kind of a shopping bag it will mean that you would have bought an iphone this blesser had bought an iphone for me then midweek he then came and he took me to this other hotel called jameson hotel we went and we slept there brother nashi and throughout the night we made love as well as my friend she was with her own blesser in another room but during the night that was when we had a knock on the door it was my blesser's friend he came in and he was busy hugging and kissing my friend and they were almost naked then my blesser when he opened up they came in and the door was locked my friend then called me to the bathroom and she explained to me everything that her own blesser had asked from her she wanted us to have a foursome so the first thing that they requested us to do me and my friend we had to act out as if we were lesbians and this was like the first time and i didn't like it but because of money we started kissing each other then we started using our fingers on each other licking each other brother nashi and until we had both came from there on those old blessers they started to do whatever they wanted to do with us they were exchanging us brother nashi and they were making us to like lick ourselves then lick their manhoods as well we did this until those men they had finished and after they had finished these guys they then gave us the money and they left they left us in that hotel room and they just went back to their wives then there was another day when this blesser after he had bought a new car for me he said that this was a time for me to repay him back and i didn't know what he meant when he said that it was a time for me to repay him back he then invited me to mount pleasant to my surprise when we went to that house in mount pleasant i started to have a terrible headache brother nashi when i had this terrible headache we were very close to his house and when we entered into his house he started undressing me and he told me that he wanted to have sexual intercourse using the other way around like anal sex i asked him what was wrong with me he said that he just wanted me to thank him so this was quite weird but he had some lube that he gave me and he started to put some lube down there and he, he made me to go down on my knees and he came behind me this guy when he was behind me he started making love to me and i was in pain i had never felt so much pain in my entire life he then gave me some pills instead of sleeping together in his house there in mount pleasant brother nashi after we had a loud bang it was as if there was someone who had dropped a very huge rock on top of his roof he then woke me up and he said you need to go you need to go so i got scared i thought that maybe it was his wife and he never explained what had made such a huge sound he, he got me into the car and i could not even walk properly he then took me back to the rest where i was staying brother nashi days passed i could not even get out of bed he had given me some money and he told me that this money 
it was like for painkillers and i would send my friend my friend will go and buy those painkillers for me after several days drinking those painkillers i felt much better but now the problem that i started to face is that it's my back area where poo comes out there are these blisters that keeps on coming out as if i have bent myself down there and i have tried to seek medical attention using the money that this blesser gave me but no matter what i try to do no matter medication that i am given to rub down there still it does not even work i am suffering a lot i might be walking down the street and people will think that i am enjoying life but i am not even enjoying life it is very painful whenever i try to pull because it feels as if down there there is someone who constantly burns me the only way that i survive you know alu alu fiera i go out into the bushes then i gather those alu fieras then i'll keep them in my room then i'll take them and rub them right there on that area where the poo comes out then this will make me to feel much better that's aloo that you can buy i have tried to buy it that gel but it does not work on me i have to go into the field and look for natural aloof era that is the thing that i have seen to be working for me but it can only work maybe for 30 minutes and i feel very terrible because the moment that i sit down i can just feel that aloo gel it will be all over my buttocks and all over my panty i am not even enjoying life at all as for my friend she keeps on with her business of dating a lot of blessers and she said that once these blessers do not want to do not attempt to communicate with them since they have a lot of money they can do anything with you they can even send people to kill you so brother nashi this is my own story i am suffering and i am still very young your dear listeners right there was a message that was sent to me by one of our dear sister if you have a child that goes to university please pray for your kid pray for your child and if you have been hooked up by these blessings uh, in and around join city please do not hesitate come and share your own story because your story it is going to help other kids that are still going to college or university strange things do happen in this world <laughs>